Let me do this. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. And I get woken up. And I've been seeing that people also at um, around 3 a.m. in the morning, they're being woken up too. What is up with that? What is up with being woken up at 3 a.m. in the morning? This, this is not just an isolated incident. It's not. Hello, uh, Summer. Yeah, this is not an isolated incident. I think this is worldwide. When you're sleeping, Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Actually, I was exhausted when I went to bed. I was. I, I didn't do any more videos. I thought, I am so exhausted. And then it's, and I wake up just like, uh, like five minutes ago. I thought, oh, I feel really, I feel like I'm wide awake. I said, don't tell me it's 3 a.m. So I just reached over and I grabbed my phone. It's around 3 a.m. Is it 3 a.m.? How, when you've been waking up just like that, it's like something has clicked inside of you, the switch is switched, and it's 3 a.m. 3 a.m., and you're wide awake. Um, hello, everyone. Wide awake. Penny, honey, you wide awake. Pamela, you wide awake. Um, let me get my, let me get my other glasses on. I have glasses they're both identical. One's a newer prescription from last year. It's supposed to go every year. Oh, this is a lot better. I guess my eyes change, but yeah. So, hello in Texas. It's been happening to you for years. It happens to you most nights. You're wide awake at 3 a.m. You are what, what really... What is going on? It kind of reminds me like how your dream state, when things happen to people in their dream state, and it's worldwide. You get, you get, uh, you wake up from your dream state, you got aching back, aching neck, swollen knees, uh, swollen joints, and it happened in your dream state. And then you're laying there, and then boom, you're wide awake wide awake at 3 a.m. in the morning, and you know that you shouldn't be wide awake. You was awakened with downloads of information. My nose is itching. Um, hello, everyone. The hamster woke you up. Mm -hmm. Um... It's 8.05, and you're just yourself from Dublin, Ireland. Wow, that's neat. In Dublin, Ireland. I had a friend that just visited there. She loved it. Yeah. Could they be using what is used on those people in Cuba? What is that? Um, well, I know that they have technology to do something. They can send a frequency or something. It's, it's 2.06 here, Tavana. It's when you've finished your REM state sleep and it's nice and quiet and the guides and angels to get your attention. 106, you prayed the Lord's Prayer, then you heard the notification. Wow, Shirley. Yeah, it is, um, it's strange. I literally, within, up, within awakening, two minutes and I was on here. Because I thought, I'm going to get up. And I looked at that, um, <laughs> the time, and I thought, I am not getting up uh, and starting my day. But I, I got on here to see if anyone else was up. Also, you've been looking, um, yeah. Your heart is pounding at a rapid rate, then wide awake. Um. 507 in Australia. Wow, this is neat. We got some Australia in here, you all. Now I'm married. Yeah. 3 a.m. is the demon's hour. Well, they're not getting my soul. <laughs> they're not. They're not getting me. 
Uh uh. They might wake me up. Ohio. 3.07 p.m. Scorpio moon. That's wild. 3.07 3, 307 p.m. You can't go to sleep, and it's seven minutes past midnight? Really, if you think about this, there's bound to be, well, there's a common denominator, but there's there's bound to be something, something so massive and so powerful that it has the ability to do this, interrupt people's sleep, make them wide awake. It's like I, I read about um, a love and light about the technology that they can use on a, a crowd of people. Um, sound technology to literally, they hold in their ears and they'll disperse and or they have the technology where they can target it at a group of people and make them all angry with the technology and they won't even know why they're angry. Um, it, what if it is have to do with frequency? What if it is some type of a frequency weapon? And if it is, who's doing it? Is it coming from space? If it's coming from space, then you have to think, now certainly they don't have all these satellites all around the world waking people up at the same time around 3 a.m., no matter, depending on where you're at. Or is it something much greater than that? What if it ain't even man technology? What if it's something that is occurring in the spiritual realm and they just do it to do it? They could be setting people off, waking them, or even causing violence. Yeah. The smart... Do they really turn on the smart meters at 3 a.m.? I was thinking about the smart meters. You know how the article, they were voting on something in Switzerland, and they were saying if the energy prices, if the energy was like, got really bad, if they put their thermostats above, was it 91 degrees um, Fahrenheit? Was it what it is? It would be like 66.2 degrees Celsius or here or something like that, vice versa, that they could be fined and or put in jail. And then they, they asked them about it and they reiterated it. Well, there was a proposal, but... There is no energy crisis, so there is no fines, and there there wouldn't be there, there there's no need to implement it. However, if an energy crisis did come, then that would be considered, and then they say we'd we'd have no idea, no way to tell or find people. Yes, you would. You got the smart meters. You got the smart meters where you're at, where you could literally turn that thermostat off. They did it in, in um, Nevada. When I lived in Nevada in the 90s, every day at 2 o'clock, that thermostat was shut off. That electric was shut off to the house. Uh, and then, or they, or they capped it. And then, after the time was up, however, however long it was, just like it's rolling blackouts is kind of what it is. Kind of like that, but then they could turn it on. If you got a smart meter, yeah, you can find out which house is using whatever wattage. Yeah, so I don't think it'd be that hard to set something up to send out fines to people. I don't. So, yeah, everything is meant to connect electronically. Um, the frequency is traveling through our computers. Well, I have computers, but I literally, I turned them off uh, and the surge protectors. I don't leave nothing on and unplug it from the wall, except the silly cell phone. Um, you know what? I don't know if you can refuse a smart meter. When I had um, electricity ran to the she shed, um, they came they did something to the existing thing on the pole. And then just not too recently, that was like last year, 
not too recently, like a week or two ago, the electric guy came out and he had something in his hand, it looked like a glass meter thing. And he walked over to the pole. We saw him on the camera, the security cameras pointed straight at the driveway. He walked over to the electric pole and um, I guess he switched out the meter. And then he took the, he came back walking with the, some meter in his hand, stuck it on the top part of his truck, and I guess put it in something, and then he left. So I thought, I thought that wasn't, I thought that was already a smart meter, because they're digital now. Um, the one I had was mechanical. It was the kind that would roll up, roll up. Um, so yeah, they can, they can read it. They can read it from their offices. Um, the new technology, it is very, very powerful. Um, after midnight here, Tammy, when I saw your comment, I, I couldn't read it all the way, but it's it, what, raised, what came in my mind was at the midnight hour. There's a song, at the midnight hour. It's a um, an older Christian song something about the midnight hour. They, they synchronize all your household appliances. Um, I didn't want a smart refrigerator because if, if you had a smart refrigerator, they can, you know, do something with it, spy on you or something. We got smartphones. I think really a smartphone, that can, that's as powerful as a big computer if you think about it. Um, some people have um, computers on their um, refrigerators with screens. And some people have Alexa all through their house. Alexa, turn on the lights. Alexa, dim the lights. Alexa, lock the doors. Um, the whole entire houses are wired up. Um, yeah, hello, you all. If you're, if you're just tuning in, I was... I was sleeping really good, and then I woke up, and I thought, I feel wide awake. And then I thought, it better not be around 3 a.m., and I looked at the phone, and it was. I said, I'm going to, I'm going to get on here. I'm going to get, throw on my shirts, throw on my shirt and shorts, and I'm going to look presentable and get on this <laughs> within two minutes just to see if anyone else is up also. <laughs> Alexa has never been your roommate. Yeah, smart devices, Jenny B, will rule us if we allow it. That's right. I have an old, the older refrigerators, the side-by-sides, and it don't have the fancy technology on it. It's really old. My husband didn't want me to get it. I got it a couple years ago, maybe, maybe less than a, well, around a year ago during the last growing season to help with the canning, you know, put stuff in the refrigerator um, to keep it cold, the melons and things like that. Um, because our newer one, it would go out. He would buy, he bought this fancy refrigerator. And when we had the power fluctuations, it, it would burn out the circuit boards and stuff. And they would quit doing whatever. I said, I'm so tired of refrigerators doing this. I'm going to get an older one. And I did. And he didn't like it because it was white. But... Um, I put it up in the she shed on the other side. Of course, it's not plugged in, but I thought, you know what? That's a good backup. You just plug it in. It don't got all the fancy technology, but it sure kept everything cold. And so what? If I had to fill, I'll put water in ice cube trays and get my ice cubes out like that. If I used ice cubes like that, which I like my drinks at room temperature, um, I don't have to have ice in my water or anything. Um, sal, 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 Mm, you have no idea why you're up. You had a full day. That's right. It's it's strange. Now, hopefully, we can go to sleep after this video. Go back to sleep. It's 316 in Ontario, Canada. I like that number, 316. Um. Oh, your dog is growling at nothing right now. Is your dog growling at you? Or your dog senses something? Oh, Carolyn, you asked Siri if she would dance with you. She said, I can do a mean robot dance. Oh, wow. That's interesting. 
They put the smart meters in British Columbia, and if you told them to take it out, they charged for it. Oh. Meanwhile, we didn't ask for it in the first place. Wow. We're building your home, and we're not putting out smart crap. I don't blame you one bit. I don't. Uh-uh. Watch the road work going on in your areas. Well, this is interesting because they're putting they're putting new water pipes, not water pipes, the drainage pipes, the great big metal ones that go underneath the roads. Uh when the when it rains, heavy rains, um, so it doesn't wash out onto the roads, I guess, and flood certain areas. They're putting them all down the road where I'm at, brand new. Um, and they're doing a good job when they cut the road up in that section. It's so smooth when you drive over it. Oftentimes, they've had crews, when they make a mess in the road, they just get the shovel out, and they just throw it down on the road, and it gets all over your vehicle. They've had crews like that. This time, they got some professional crews doing it. Um, oh, no, I... No, we can't be doing no slow dancing. The, the fastest I got to a slow dance, well, I did a slow dance once. It was that song, All of Me and All of You. All of Me wants All of You. Um, yeah. A long time ago, though. You was asleep, felt very sleepy. Then you just woke up and get in and got in here. Bet Beto D. Yeah, that's weird. Um, 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. every morning in Adelaide, Australia. Um, it was not humane to leave humans without energy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Oh, you're welcome, Tammy. If I... If I feel within my being to do a video, I will. And it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Um, so if you're all just tuning in, and, and if you're watching this video, I'm going to speak into the future, you all. If you're watching this video as a repeat, um, yeah, I woke up at around 3 a.m. It was 2.58. Felt wide awake. Got on here. Within two minutes, I got on the internet to see if anybody else was awake, too, because I've been hearing people have been waking up at 3 a.m. So, um, that's right. Love you, too. Um, you wanted to watch a movie last night to see what they put on it? Um, yeah. Every night at that age, you need... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Your dogs are barking, too. You learn overload. Oh, you're on overload, uh, Dina. Mm. Wow. This is wild. 3 a.m. is the witching hour. I thought 2 a.m. is the witching hour. Well, if it's the witching hour, we're not afraid. We're not and uh, if we have to be wide awake during the witching hour, then our presence is going to be felt and our vibration is a positive one, is what it is. It's not no negative one. Maybe we're going to be awake to stop anything negative that was going to happen. How about that? A collective awakening at 3 a.m. to keep the darkness at bay. That's how we can look at it keep it at bay <laughs> yeah um i have no idea how you knew to come here luna shine that's right good morning yeah mm. your hospital and county um had a blackout and no ex positive vibing so at your local hospital in clement mercy health in Baxdia, Ohio, they had a blackout, no electricity, and no generator. Is that still going on? Mmm. Just 
after midnight you woke up and wide awake too. Okay, this is, there's got to be something, something up in space, something in the atmosphere or orbiting, orbiting up in space. You know, they could connect all satellites together if they wanted to, they could. But you would have to get that satellite, um, it had to be really powerful. What if it's something coming from inside the Earth to the outside? Since CERN is so powerful with their um, their electromagnetic field, is it 6.5 Tesla? We don't even have a 1.5. Um, let's see if there was an answer to the... You got up and found you. You felt restless and you went to bed two hours ago, but sleep would not happen. 1223 in Arizona, Carolyn. Yeah, something's going on, you know. There really is. It's, it's going on and it's disrupting a lot of people. Um, South Africa, you had rolling blackouts for two and a half hours with no electricity three to four times a day. And if it's hot, and I'm sure it gets really hot. Um, uh, the demons were summoned to go to their assignments. Let me see this. At 12 a.m. to 3 Pray a hedge over yourselves before going back to bed and order that. I, I think that's a wonderful idea. Yeah. If you can't be speak of... Mm, did we get an answer from Ohio? If the electricity was still out in Ohio? Um, yeah, the days and nights and stuff. Um, it's 1225 in Australia. You wake up at 3 a.m. Come on. There, there be there. Mm. Why 3 a.m.? That's the thing. Why 3 a.m.? What is so special about 3 a.m.? There's got to be something. Um, a portal. That makes sense. Um, it does. That does make sense. A portal. You, If you can go to sleep, by all means, go to sleep. That'd be great, right? You doze up and you woke up again in the UK approximately 3 a.m., the bewitching hour. Well, that's okay. We're wide awake to face that witching hour. <laughs> um, that's right. It that's right. Time is irrelevant. It's the same moment in this thing called time. That's right. The same moment in this thing called time. And it affects our biological clocks within us because obviously our bodies, there is a type of a clock within us um, and it's biological. You know, I once thought, it entered my mind and sometimes I still think about it. What if we are a very, very, very advanced um, species ourself? extremely advanced and um, we don't know it what if more advanced than any of us could ever realize and a part a part of us is turned off so that we don't know it's 926 in Germany ding 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 yeah, 3 p.m. in the afternoon, so the devil hour is 3 a.m. People's dreams, and that's why a lot of abductions take place at night. Yes, it's 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 um amazing. CERN never experiences power outages. It uses massive magnetic field to harness the power of solar particles to generate power. Yeah. 
It's amazing. We attract what we think. Well, sometimes uh, when really bad people come towards you, that's the opposite. It, it, a complete opposite that is attracted. Boom. 3 a.m. is the mocking the time. Oh, that's okay. I'll gladly be awake at 3 a.m. Um, just to signify what happened, uh, what horrific thing had happened, and it was not nice. So, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Comments? Yeah, I love the comments on here, you all. You just keep them going because it seems like we've got a lot more people on here at this hour uh, with a lot more input, and it's really, really good. It is glass of milk and cookies and go back to bed. Two in Houston, Texas. Taiwan. What's happening in Taiwan? Um, I hope everything is okay. That's right. Maybe the powers that be shouldn't be um, turning up at the 5Gs and stuff. Mm. Humans are sacred. That's right, we all, that's great. A pajama party, that's right. It's a peaceful at this, at the time. Your dogs will not go to sleep, Mindy. It's something spiritual too. That's right, peace, I leave with you. Um, shalom, that's right, visual disturbance. Oh, don't say the word. Oh, they just had a four. They had a 7.2 earthquake at 2.44 a.m. Wow. That's, uh, my nose is itching now. That's a powerful earthquake. And I hope no one got um, hurt by it. The video that Trey did on 124 on that bug's belly, uh, a profile and under its head and abdomen is an Evil face like you've seen in the clouds. Wow. That bug. I've never seen one like that. And um, it doesn't look normal. And it does look like it was made uh, genetically modified as a... Um, is that is that the elm arc beetle or something that gets in the elm trees or the ash trees and literally destroys them? Because... They spread like wildfire over here where we're at, and they're having to cut down their trees so that it doesn't keep spreading. Um, a new discovery. When you awoke in the wee hours, pray. You witnessed witness that. Yeah, for a divine reason. Um, well, no, I'm not going to eat something poisonous like that. No, I'm going to eat. I have never saw the righteous forsaken nor their seed begging for bread. <laughs> That's right. Don't let your energy be harvested. That's right. You keep that vibration high, even if you get woke up in the middle of the night. Um, Becky, um, some people wake up around three to write down. I was going through, when I was going through a period of spiritual awakening, I would wake up at strange hours in the wee hours and something would be on my heart I would get on the Facebook I would do a video and it was meant for somebody there would be comments that would pour in like that um your ash tree is just a foot tall yeah um if you see it kill it see I saw those comments on there last night Diane if you see that type of a bug kill it it's an invasive species so it's an insectoid that was created to um, be invasive. Um, 2.30 seems to be a regular thing. Um, black, black jackets. Oh, my gosh. Um, sing a song. Sing out loud. Sing out something. I'll sing. Sing a song. No matter if it's not good enough for anyone else to hear, but sing, sing a song. 
That's right, you all. I feel better. I was laying, I thought, well, I'm going to be in for it tonight. But when I was laying in the bed, I was turning around. It hurt at first, but it feel, it's feeling better. Thank you. I've been praying for it. <laughs> I thought that's all I need is for that enemy to make my foot not even catch the step when I go down and send me down to the flight of stairs. It wasn't too big of a flight. It was around six feet. And it made a loud thump, and my husband was on the porch, and he heard it. <laughs> I made sure I said something. I made sure I said, that is hurts, so he could hear me. <laughs> One time, after I had been diagnosed, I had just had breast cancer surgery. You all, I'm serious. And I got up, and it was winter time, and I was trying to carry in some logs, just a little bit of armful off the porch to make a fire. It might have been in the early, early morning. And I slipped because there was snow somehow got on the porch and I slipped on the floor and I fell and the wood fell. And I'm laying there and I'm thinking, surely he is going to hear this. <laughs> He's going to get up and see if I'm okay. No, no, he did not. He didn't get up. I, I was okay. And when he did get up, I told, him, I told him, he goes, well, I heard something. And I thought, is she okay? He goes, but you didn't make no noise. So I just went back to sleep. <laughs> silly. <laughs> oh, he's silly at times. But yesterday was the very first time whenever he had that thought, did I just hear something? And immediately got up. So I, that, that, that he's getting better, you all. Yeah. Um, you have, oh, have a great after party sleep. Thou. That's right. Uh, you woke up and found you awake. Wow, this is strange. DNA upgrading. Um, well, I can't say that it wouldn't be. Something's happening and waking us up. Oh, you're welcome, World Weather Authority. Um, yeah, 500 plus in the chat. Well, I think we just need to wake up every morning at 3 a.m. and get on here. Normally have, um, when I would go to bed and I would wake up prematurely, I would feel nauseous and I'd have to go back to sleep. But I'm not feeling that right now. So that's a good thing. Um, yes, we are all in this awake together. I like that. I love it. A birds of a feather, yes. Um, solar flares is there coming? Uh, did they say that there's going to be like a Carrington, a Carrington event also on the 24th or some kind of solar flare coming? Um, you were smoking. Did I see somebody smoking? Oh, smudging with sage. You had music on and um, something stopped your phone. Um, oh, yeah. It was good. Yeah, you all. So that's great. Shalom. So maybe after this, everybody can get some good sleep because we got some good energy to get rid of any uh, residual energy that might be there. That's right. Mid-morning in France. That's wonderful. Um, that's right. That's right. You can break my body, but you can't break my mind. <laughs> That's right. 3 a.m., it's the thinnest. What's that mean, the thinnest? Um, oh, I believe that, Brandy. The Schumann can cause nauseous heart palpitations, anxiety. That's right. Um. They're reading the vibrational waves of your mind through the phone. Wow. It's no coincidence. Oh, yeah. That is strange. Because um, even if you don't speak it, it can pick it up. See, that's what makes me think. Um, I don't know. I'd just rather like to think that we're super, super, super advanced humans and much more advanced than they want us to realize. And a part of us has been turned off. But a part of us is waking up. 
Hello there in South Africa, Nikki. Um, Glinda. 7.2, uh, 51 minutes ago. You know, I wonder if that um, had something to do with everyone waking up. We And it just reached us enough to wake up enough of a, the collective people. Six, now it's 6.9. Um, ah, oh, the weapon machine. Yeah. The veil between us and death is thinnest at 3 a.m. That's interesting. It really is. Um, only when we have enough working with consciousness. Yeah. Your pillow is calling. Oh, you go to bed, Tammy, honey. It's wonderful having you on here. I think I'll be able to sleep good, too, because I am not going to get up and go downstairs and have a cup of tea and wake myself all the way up. I've done it before. I've got up. I thought, I'm wide awake. I've, I've made a cup of coffee before and drank it. Then I thought, oh, I'm sleepy. I'm just going to go back to bed, and I did. I don't like that, but that's okay. You did yard work, oh, and now you're all awake. Um, well, I think that's good. Royalty in this magnificent um, universe. Yeah. The quake in Morb Mel Melbourne. You had a Melbourne quake. Uh, 540 during a quake in the Melbourne this morning. What Was the quake big? Um, 7.30 in New Zealand. Gregorian, um, Julian, Ethiopian, a 2015, not 2022. Mm -hmm. Your sleeping habits. Um, shofar music. Ah, a great one is shofar worship in the waterfall. This is live. Conception Benson. This is a live video, and um, I came on here around 3 a.m. and um, 3744, 37 minutes and 44 seconds uh, of being on here. It was an, a 7.62 in um, Taiwan. Calaspia. Are we going to sleep in, Rosie Pie, honey? We might. Yeah, a lot of people are awake, even though there is coming in from all over the world. That's right. 3 a.m. is the real time of day. Wow, is when your day starts. You look through the house. I wanted to go outside and look. See if there's anything in the sky, but I'm not going down those stairs at this hour. Um. Oh, we all get sleepy. That's good, you all. Um. Oh, well, you're welcome one day at a time. Yeah, you're welcome. I really didn't even have to do the chemo since it was only stage one and they had gotten it all out. Um, of course, when you have something like that happen to you and you've not experienced it or dealt with it before, you have small children, well, not too small, um, you really think, well, they know the right thing, but it didn't take long for me to realize what wasn't the right thing for my body. But no, the moon, the moon is in the sky when I get up. When I got up yesterday around, say, 6, I think the moon was directly above the house. Uh, Michelle, honey, mama's never live at this hour. Mama is never live at this hour. Michelle, honey, you're on here too, right? <laughs> Woke up all of a sudden. I thought, you know what, I feel wide awake and I shouldn't. I'm going to get on that internet because someone said they get wide awake at 3 a.m. That's what I said. 
So I did it just like that within two minutes. It was 2.58 when I woke up. Mm. 3 a.m. is when they can communicate. It's the beginning of the calendar year, and that's why October is 8, not 10, December. Well, my nose is now trying to itch the other side of my nose. It's strange, you all. That's right. I hope it wasn't uh, in a certain uh, populated area in Taiwan where there was, um, you know, Oh, I guess my, that's probably my cue. I need to be hopping off of here, you all. I'm trying to get a little sleepy now. Uh, the moon is in the east. Um, isn't it strange that when the sun rises, it's red? And oftentimes, this is what I've noticed too, when I would work second shift, and it'd be, I don't know, I'd go outside around 8.30 at night, and I would look in the eastern sky, and the moon would be rising, and it was red. That part of the sky was a reddish orange. And I remember that's going to take, I took some pictures at that, that point, and I thought, wow, I'm going to get a video. But you know what happened? The clouds came in and covered up the moon. And this was like at 830 at night, right in the eastern sky, as the moon was rising, the sky itself was the reddish orange too. It really makes a person think, what is going on with this? Oh, oh, tomorrow is Sunday? Oh, I guess it is. That's right, it is. I didn't know that. It's totally slipped my mind. Um, life is but a dream, sweetheart. Hello, hello again. Yeah, that's a, if I could take you up in, in paradise up above, if I could tell you or you could tell me something, I'm the only one that you love, life would be a dream, sweetheart. Yeah. Yes, mamas will take us to church. Yeah. <laughs> It's noon here in India, Tulika. Well, noon in India, that's interesting. It is Sunday, you all, it is. So I haven't heard this one before, Stacy Lewis. Banks worldwide to close, 924, have cash on hand. So we'll see if that happens. Thank you for putting that in there because it's always nice to know interesting to know um, what's being rumored to what's going around what's being said to see you know if when the dates come if something happens it, it is it is yeah Tanya yeah there was a earthquake in America um, hmm. 10 45 a.m. in Greece I oh, love you too in Greece that's right. I bet the algorithms didn't think Gina Honey was going to get up at 3 something, 3 a.m. in the morning and come on here. That's right. <laughs> Throw it off. That's right. I didn't think I was either. It'd be the last thing on my mind, but that's okay. It's nefarious. Um, yeah. The comment about the frequency. 17 jars of carrot juice. Wow, that's a lot. Um, Yeah. Well, I am going to hop off of here, you all. And um, that's been wonderful getting on here, seeing everybody. Hopefully, we can go back to sleep if, if you've gotten woken up in the wee hours of the morning. And if it's uh, your morning's just beginning or your afternoon, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your afternoon. I really do. Um, I do. It's great. Makes me smile. We raised that frequency at the witching hour of the morning, 3 a.m. We raised it. Boom. That's right, you all. We did. That's how, that's how we can think about it. We got awoken to stand, that, stand on that line and hold that line of frequency. Boom. And we did it, you all. We did. Um, so with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world, hello. 
from my heart to yours. Love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, you all. Thank you so much for being on here. 